that's you and me. All day, that's us, boo. Came through that new thing. See, I don't know why I trust you. Crazy now, I'm just too on. Maybe now, I'm just too gone. Maybe now, I'm just looking for that same vibe that you on. Cause I'm out here with my boys. Going crazy in this bitch. Overseas, getting bent. No Mercedes in this bitch. We made the album nine months. Had a baby in this bitch. I'm with your bae on the run. Like I'm Jay-Z in this bitch. I don't smoke a lot, but I get green. But ball out, no SBs. I caught you out. You got serving that beat stop. No step team. I came through and that's real shit. No, no, but came, but I feel this. Feeling kid when I feel banks. I still be spitting that Will Smith. If I shut it down, we do that. Hell yeah, we knew that. Them girl gave me them crazy eyes. Orange is that new black. New black cold out, so I mink about it. Trust me out, so I drink about it. They talk a lot, but it's all good. So it's too real. Don't think she about it. She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Let me Yo, yo, what it do? It's your boy BX Brother 730, and I'm live streaming to you NBA 2K19, SSBA Season 2, my league online gameplay, 32 man user league. I am currently have my Bucks hosting hosting the Boston Celtics. All right, gotta make sure nothing's nothing's set. Of course. <laughs> With Greg Anthony. And a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Celtics made a special <laughs> trip here for one game back in Boston for the Boys, next one. Not. And it's in your DNA. You come up against a natural rival, you're going to be a little bit salty. And that's what makes it fun. You love seeing these two teams go head to head. They're going all out. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. <laughs> Let's it go from deep. Jordan with the rebound. Outside Tatum. A shot off that time. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. A couple teams that have great options off the bench. Doris, give these coaches tremendous flexibility, doesn't it, in their lineups? I think one of the things that the casual fan may not necessarily understand about the NBA is how important players 6 through 15 can be. The NBA season is a grind, and every member of that on, Malcolm. has to contribute in on, different Malcolm. ways. Sometimes it's a defensive unit that steps onto the floor to try to change momentum. Sometimes you need a guy like Lou Williams off the bench because you're struggling to score. So the flexibility provided by the back end of your lineup is crucial. And reveals a lot about coaching as well. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrating. Down low. Just five on the clock. Makes it off the glass. And, and, you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. Tatum on the wing. It's thrown by to Takumbo. Greek, you got to make those, Greek. Boy, the defense gets into his head and alters his release when he really doesn't have to. Paul with the ball. He's as potent an offensive player as you're going to find in this league. He averages almost 30 points a game. Holiday, no one around him. From outside, off the mark. 
And here is Brogdon. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now here's Paul. Outside Tatum. Pass to Holiday. Celtics passing it around. That one doesn't go. And Milwaukee will come the other way. The shot by Brogdon wide open. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. From the opening tip, he's been active and working for good looks. He's been pretty accurate. Yo, DeMarco, what's going on with you, bro? How you doing, man? Why are you leaving Tatum for? That's not what we had. Again, missing. Boy, they wanted to hit the ground running today, but it hasn't happened. Just one for five from the field. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Back to Snell. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Yo, Lopez, hop off, man. This ain't for you, man. Best advice I can give you, bro. Austin on D. Trailing by five. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Six on the shot clock. In the corner, it's oh Brogdon. Oh, wrong person. And taken away by Paul. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Wrong Williams person. Gets the bucket. Showing that aggressive Oh, man, me and you both, bro. I'm so, so tired of this. One more day, man. Now, here's Brogdon. He's got six. Henson with the bounce pass. Shot clock at six. Even Genzo. <laughs> makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Right side Tatum. Holiday left side. Fires for three. And Henson pulls it down. And it's the Bucks ball. A big stretch here going 10 2. Pass to Brogdon. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And how about the initiative? there from Antetokounmpo. Excellent at seeing lanes to the basket and then just take Yeah, this is a um this is a league so you got rules that uh that force you to play almost almost like the real thing, man. It's a sim league. From three point range. I tell you they're willing to give him that shot and he takes Yeah, this was my team or something else. I probably would play totally different. Pass to Brogdon. Down low. It's tipped. Now, under Kumbo. <laughs> Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupations. Wow, what, did he have something in his eye on that Hey, you know, you know what, DeMarco, you can't help some cats like that. Those are pure lames, man. Just hop on somebody's fucking feet and just... Has to say the dumbest shit in the world, man. The those mother, those are the ones I ignore, man, because they they probably toddlers, bro. To be honest with you, wouldn't put it past it. Over the rim and, in. <laughs> and some have even compared Giannis to Kobe Bryant for his single-minded dedication, Greg, to improvement. Yeah, you know, something of an introvert, not a guy you'll find out on the town or schmoozing with other stars he's content to save outside pursuits for after his playing days are done there's Brogdon count the basket Brogdon's got eight yeah that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed the, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies it's good I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. All right, let's go. 
<laughs> Bucks is almost off to a good start. We need to perfect our defense. Doris, look in your crystal ball. Five years from now, who do you think will be the two, three best players in the NBA? This guy I'm playing is one of the top well, top guys in the names. league, also. Arguably top five. Hell holds, I'm going to give you three men who are going to be bad men in the NBA for a long time. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Because the Greek freak is able at his size to handle it, take it off the window, and dominate action and transition. If he gets a consistent jump shot, forget about it. Ben Simmons, exactly the same thing. His passing ability is extraordinary. I think you'll see him get a low post game. And I think he'll get a jump shot, and he will be unguardable. And one of my absolute favorites is Mr. Joel Embiid. Give it to you inside, give it to you outside. Mr. Embiid can handle it. He can dominate with his defense. Those three men are going to be all-stars for a long, long time. Make him pay. Make him pay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Corver. Corver's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Paul. Oh my God! When they let Chris Paul get a rebound, it's Jordan on the wing, and the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Tatum, this one for three, drills it from outside. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. This guy a sensational shooter. It doesn't take a lot of separation for Jason Tatum to put it in the basket. It's under the combo on the wing. Lock at six. Three pointers. Snell. Let's go, Tony. And another three for Milwaukee. And that's how you I'm also that. missing Jeremy Lamb too, man. He was a big contributing in this lineup, especially on the offensive end. Well on the offensive end, connects on the deep threat. The kick out to Williams. Outside Holiday. The rebound by the Bucks. Now here's Brogdon. Eight points for him. And the double up out of Dekumbo. Back to Brogdon. Pass to Hans Dekumbo. And it's good with time running down in the shot clock. Now it's a seven point Bucks lead. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Paul looking over the floor. Outside Holiday. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Tatum. Good block. Let's go. And they'll turn it over. Could not get Let's go, Greek. Four second violation. Milwaukee with the ball. They lead by seven. To the wing on the left. Maker. No one around him. A chance to extend the lead. Open. You're going to have to make those, no good. Gay outside. They get it again. Jordan. Drops in the layup for two. They're going to have to make those. Jordan's got his first basket of the night. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive Look at rebounders. Fucking reach a hole, in bro. Inside. Williams with the steal. And Matthew Delavadova is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. <clears throat> On defense, Milwaukee. It's a five-point game. Here's Johnson. And there's the call on Chandler. That's his first foul. Four on the clock. There's Maker. Those three pointers off the mark. 
Boy, they're just giving him that shot. An easy opportunity for three and just slips away. Gay right side. Good defense, and though. Be two free Good defense. Coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Rudy Gay, Greg, has always been a fantastic scorer since he came into the NBA. And, and Gay doesn't do as much scoring as he once did, but, but he has become more efficient. D doesn't have plays ran for him. Gets looks through his instinct. And as he's gotten older, Gay has become even more crafty with how he scores. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Whoops, there's mm. the 24 second shot clock violation. Not so paying attention. Celtics trail <laughs> by four. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. <laughs> and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Can't fall for Gay's pump fake there. It excels at getting the D in the air and going right into you for the foul. Milwaukee making a switch here. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. That's two really unproductive trips in a row ending in turnovers. The Celtics making a switch here. Chandler outside. And he hits it to tie the game up. Gotta be aware of Gay's passing. He's constantly looking to set up his teammates in their spots. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. And that's such solid fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. You know, that's why we say move without the basketball. You'll be rewarded. And now, here comes Anadokounmpo leading the break. The drive by game. No, you can do about and the that jam one. by Rudy uh -huh. Gay. Well, Gorgie Zhang is a big man, is an excellent passer. That's a pretty look. Even Genzo. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. <laughs> and getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And look what we've seen for Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. I think one key is they've controlled the tempo so far. And I know it's early, but it helps to have this kind of lead. Here's Gay. And he banks in the layup. Gay's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Boston. And love how committed Gay is inside. No one is stopping him. He's overcoming any challenge. As to Henson. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Changes up. Williams with the block. The reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. And here's Chandler who brings it up for the Celtics. Here's Teodosic. Fires the three. The rebound by the Bucks. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Di Vincenzo. Nailed from three-point land. He has seven. Guys, listen, the defense was totally invisible on that three-point attempt. Nobody even in his zip code. And ah, wrestling damn. there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Boston with it. He in the corner. Six to shoot. 
and they double up game. Connects from three. That was actually range. good defense. Six points for Wilson Chandler. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And straight isolation basketball doors, something we used to see a lot more of. But for a guy like uh, James Harden or Steph Curry, that's still a very viable option. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if you've got the likes of LeBron James or Kevin Durant or Chris Paul, guys who are able to create their own offense, to me, you want to take advantage of that skill set. It's about what your personnel strengths are. So can you surround a great creator with the shooters necessary? Because if you do, all of a sudden as a defense, there's a price to pay if you're going to help off, right? Because somewhere, some way, the best offensive talent is going to showcase its skill. And the call will go against Milos Teodosic. That's his first foul. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Lock at six. And the rejection by Jane. Well, the timing, a very natural aspect the block, the of block. what Gorky Zhang does on the defensive end. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Ah, maker scores. misses. Ah, maker, man. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Teodosic. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Delivered over with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. E. Vincenzo. And it's good. Assisting on the play was delivered over. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. Gay outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when Gay is locked in, he's special. Uh, an efficient scorer who can effortlessly take over games. Rudy Gay hits them both. Bucks trail by three. And here is Della Vidova. And they force Ooh, the I gotta pay attention to that clock. Great D. Celtics gotta pay making attention to that here. clock. Celtics leading by three. And Matthew Delavidova is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, boy. That's two on him now. And if he gets a third foul before halftime, his playing time is going to have to be limited for a bit. Basket Jane. The ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Gorgi Jang, the 21st pick in 2013 out of Louisville. He's more than lived up to that selection. Well, let's remember, this is a national champion we're talking about. The Louisville Cardinals won it with him anchoring them defensively. He's also shown a nice shooting touch in the mid-range game in the professional leagues. But I think it's his defense that still remains the strength of his game. Back to Snell. There's the triple. Tony. No good that time. And, and it's Boston the other way. Here's Teodosic. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Azelnik's working the ball around now. Tatum on the wing. Over on to Dekumbo. Again, the miss by the Celtics defensively and they actually get away with it bad idea to leave him open consistently though and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo wow look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish Gay in the corner hits it from three point range Gay's got seven now in this quarter 
I think you could see early on that he was really with a rhythm and flow tonight, and now he's really starting to take off. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. High post, Henson. Even Genzo. Out to the right wing. That's a two from Delavidova. And at last, they get one to fall. Wow, hats off to him for making that one. You can't find a much tougher shot than that. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bucks trail by three. Pass to Antetokounmpo. In the corner, Snell with it. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Snell's got five. The Celtics on offense. And here's Jang. Gay in the corner. And they double up Gay. Let's go. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Boston now. Right side Tatum. Back to Williams. And Williams with the stuff. You do not want to give up passing lanes off the screen. How about Jason Tatum with a decisive look there? Timeout called the Bucks. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. So, Andre DeCumbo will bring it up for Milwaukee. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Paul with the bucket. Well, that's a specialty. Flying to the basket with no fear and conversion. Now, Andre Kumbo, 10 points for him. Rebound by Williams. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. There is size and there is reach with Jason Tatum, and that makes him a difficult guard. He just dares the defense to foul him right there. The Celtics have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Bucks trail by four. Here's Snell, five points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Even Genzo. Gay with the block. You got to respect those long arms of Gay. I mean, superb at swatting shots away with those big hands. Paul left side. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. And no doubt Brad Stevens, one of the most respected young coaches in the NBA. Doris, he doesn't try to coach around foul trouble. You know what I love about Brad Stevens is he's always trying to question the norm, meaning he doesn't want to do something simply because that's the way it's always been done. So just because a guy has two fouls doesn't mean he automatically takes him out. I like that kind of out-of-the-box thinking. Here's on to Takumbo. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Cat boy, it never gets old watching this guy go to work at the offensive end. He's so gifted. And remarkable how Gay cuts to the basket. Terrific at getting the defense to body him on that drive. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. And, and guys, you look back 
to their loss last time out. He missed a lot of free throws that cost him. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. And the double up out of the Kumbo. Why would you move, Tatum. man? He's and dumb, now Paul pushing it up, knowing back to stop him. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Bucks trail by four. Now here's Andy Dekumbo. Twelve points for him. Drains it from beyond the arc. Thirteen points in the game. And things starting to click from three-point land. Nothing in the first quarter, but he's hit three triples here in the second. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Gay. That's tipped. They retain possession. The kick out to Williams. Just four to shoot. The Celtics working the ball around now. Trains the three-pointer. And that's now seven points for Chris Paul. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Andre Kumbo with the ball. Pass to Snell. And a great assist by Andre Kumbo as that one goes in. Snell's got four points now in the quarter. To the paint. And now here comes Andre Kumbo leading the break. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. The Bucks have missed both of their free throws tonight. 0 for 2 so far. And that drops, so they now lead by 1. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is. And it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. Now, I think they'll keep What's going up? to him more and more as they look to hang on to their lead. Why not with the way this guy is shooting it? The Celtics have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. And, and typically, a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Chandler outside. Stolen by Brogdon. Here's Hansa Takumbo. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Alright, let's go. Nice little run. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. And Malcolm Brogdon, the son of a lawyer and a college dean, no less. His maturity and thoughtfulness certainly reflect that upbringing. Celtics trail by three to the right side. And there's the Ooh, call foul. on Malcolm Brogdon. Oh my God! That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And with the way Brogdon conducts himself, some teammates call him Greg, the president. Yeah, he has an air about him. That he has that leadership quality and has a goal to create an NGO to alleviate poverty and hunger in developing nations. Who knows? Politics might not be out of the question for this young man. Up and in for the basket, number four. That makes him four for five now. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Bangs home the trifecta. Forty-six seconds left now here in the second. 
From the arc. All right, that was dumb. Rebound. That was a dumb he shot. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. And again, it's Boston converting. You know, a rough start for him, but he seems to have turned the corner here in the second period. And slow things up here with a chance to get the last shot of the quarter. Exactly right. That's what you'd like to see. Hopefully they play the clock to perfection here. And here is Brogdon. Pass to Korver. Over Holiday. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Celtics out in front, leading by just one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the... We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The Celtics with the lead. Gay in the corner. And he uses the glass on the layup. Okay, he's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Celtics. And Gay has great length down on the block there. Fantastic at just jumping on opportunities to score when he's down low. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Now, Anadokounmpo. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Anadokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And there's the foul. It's on Tony Snell. That's his first foul. And it's Jordan that's off the key. Oh, my God. You guys, come on, man. Jordan. DeAndre Jordan and from the, the top of the key. the Hall of Famer loves to dish the rock. Paul has a pass-first mentality. He makes everyone around him better. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Back to Brogdon. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Brogdon's got 12 in the game. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Boston. They lead by one. Pass to Williams. And the slam by Williams. Slashing with purpose there. After setting that screen, Williams knows where to position himself in these sets. Here's Antetokounmpo. What are you doing? Oh, okay, Greek, whatever. I'll take it. Definitely not where I want it, but whatever. Three points. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Well, you want to slow this man's roll right now if you're the defense. Because Nobody's helping, man. You've got to make somebody else beat you. He's cooking right now. Celtics making a switch here. And that one falls for Paul. And, and no doubt, Paul is still a top-tier point guard, a determined defender, and, of course, a remarkable distributor. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Anadokounmpo. Banked in off the glass. He's got 25. Brilliant second-half start. Four for four from the field. Can't ask for any better. Paul goes in. He's off on that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. 
Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. Here's Holiday. Back to Paul. Got a hand on it. And now, here comes Andakumbo leading the break. All right, my bad, Red, man. Damn, son. Waking up hollering like a damn cat. There's before the defense can set up. Boy, just a step quicker than the defense, really. Catching them off guard and capitalizing well. Okay, outside. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. It's Brogdon on the wing. To the paint. In the corner, Snell with it. Shot clock at six. For the lead, hands it from downtown. Snell's got ten. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. And it's good. Two points. 14 points for Chris Paul. Yeah, he's like a magician out there. Paul shows you only what he wants you to see. Then he hits you with the reveal. Williams with the block. The Celtics working the ball around now. Back to Jordan. Outside Holiday. Here's Gay. The rebound by the Bucks. Well, obviously, it's been an off night for him offensively, but give his teammates credit. They bailed him out. He's still got time to turn it around. It's Brogdon on the wing. 12 points for him. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Unbelievable. He blew that. Look, guys, no clue what went wrong there. And it's Williams throwing it down. Uh, an unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. Even Genzo. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pass to Gay. Kicks it out to Paul. Let's it go with the three. You guys hope defense sucks, ball. man. Start it. And it's a six-point Boston lead. Timeout called the Bucks. And <laughs> you know, it'll be interesting to see what coach draws up here. Well, they need to stop this run. And a great timeout that hopefully gives his team some energy. The Celtics making a switch here. So it's the Bucks now. They trail by six. 
Here's Brogdon. Will it go? Mm, Good come on, Brogdon. I need Paul. that, bro. That's simply not aggressive enough. Needs to show grit and determination and didn't on that one. Over in the corner, Chandler. Back to Paul. Right side, Jordan. Five to shoot. To the inside. Lays it up. Good and defense. despite of the excellent defense at that. Jordan's got six points. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Snell. Ten points for him. Pass to Brogdon. That one a little long. He's fighting it in this quarter. Hasn't been able to get into any sort of groove. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Chicken wing. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. No, I didn't either. I thought his feet were moving. It was close, but he was still sliding in just a bit. Right side out of the Kumbo to the middle. And he gets the whistle for the three second call. <sighs> the Celtics on offense. They're on an 11 to 3 run. Paul outside. Bro, where is the help defense, man? Lead. Come on, y'all. Paul's got 10 points Damn. here in the second half. Now, here's Adedekumbo. He's got 27. Pass to Maker. Here is Corver. The tray. Drops in the tray. Corver's got his second basket. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11 nothing. Yo, this is nuts, man. Why is he hanging on? Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. And he makes the first. Both free throws, good from Paul. Bucks trail by nine. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. Pass to Corver. Wants to get it to Brogdon and does. In the corner, it's Maker. From downtown. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Celtics leading by six. Ball outside. And it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for 14. And, and guys, when Paul kicks it up a notch, it, it's thrilling to watch. Always in attack mode. Great at looking for his shot and making the deep pay. Pass to Corver. Maker with the ball. Currently averaging almost six points a game. There we go. Way to get in there. Is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. And here is Paul. He's got 23. And the call will be against Thon Maker. And that'll be his third foul so far. Paul outside. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. And that's exactly what they needed at this point in the game. He goes to the go-to move and extends the lead. Elvidova scanning the floor. Pass to Snell. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And had the right idea there in calling <sighs> for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. Yeah, just a matter of he needs to be there a split second earlier. Not much room for error when you're setting a screen. From the high post. No good off the back of the rim. 
And so it's Delavidova. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Grant, what are some of the positives that Tristan Thompson's play brings to the team? Still a very efficient scorer on the shots that he does take. And he lives mostly inside the paint. And still a strong offensive rebounder. But, but his days of being a threat on the offensive end as the game has evolved seems to have kind of gone away. That's tipped. Fast break, Milwaukee. Vincenzo and Jordan sends it back and the one thing we know about DeAndre he's a presence at both ends of the floor he protects the rim on D just as much as he punishes it at the offensive end now Delavid over and it's Jason Tatum with the foul that's foul number two for him Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Here is Corver. He's got six. Six to shoot. Oh my and God. The this call. Game it's going to be an illegal His fourth give <sighs> tonight. Just another loss of concentration. I, I don't know what's going on with him. Boston leading by nine. Outside Holiday. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got eight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And the double up out of the Kumbo. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the oh my god, now. bro. I can't get no tips, man. And so it's Boston with it. Six seconds separate in the shot and game clocks. Boy, plenty of time left in the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. Stripped away. Mm. Outside Tatum. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Celtics lead by 12. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay... And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Antetokounmpo. Outside Korver. Fires for three. No good there. Now Boston takes it the other way. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Kept alive by Boston. Another shot. To the inside. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Bucks trail by 12. Now, here's Brogdon. 
fires from deep. And the rejection by Jang. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. The three from Tatum. Drains it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got what the, the hurt? started here with a bucket for Boston. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Yo, Carl over on Twitch. Merry Christmas, bro. Ah, uh, this game is a fucking... Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. 15-point game. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. On to DeCumbo. No good. And Boston has possession here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Delivered over with the ball. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's on to Takumbo. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Down low, stolen by Thompson. And it's the Bucks on the break. And it's Thompson with the jam. Well, Thompson's athleticism allows him to finish with power. Celtics leading by 11. Ball left side. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Pass to Johnson. And stolen by Jordan. Over Thompson. Jordan with the bucket. And the Celtics lead by 13. And the shooting percentage Jordan records from here is insane. If, if you get him the ball in a good spot, he usually finishes. Outside Korver. And again, the Bucks miss. 
I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Here's Tatum. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Boy, after an up-and-down first half, he's finally gotten a flow. These are the right shots for him. Pass to Korver. Back to Della Vidova. He tries for three. Sinks the triple. Celtics leading by 12. Paul outside. Deflects the pass. Here's Williams. I would deflect him. Johnson with the block. Pass to Della Vidova. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Now, Corver. Six to shoot. Right side, out of the Kumbo. Over Williams. Onto the Kumbo. No good. And here is Paul. And the dunk by Jordan. And he's now got the double double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. And it's extremely difficult trying to guard Paul in the screen and roll. Fantastic at making the right decision. A lethal passer. Pass to Thompson. Thompson is double. Here's Della Vidova. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Della Vidova's got five points in the quarter. Celtics leading by 12. Here's Paul. Here's the three. And again, Boston with the triple. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Back to Della Vidova. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Here's Johnson. Buries it down low. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Paul outside. This one for three. The rebound by the Bucks. He's obviously still trying to find the range. No success this quarter. You wonder what it would take to get him to pass the ball. Pass to Thompson. The kick out to Anadokounmpo. Tries a three. The shot, no good. And it's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Outside Tatum. To the middle. Good D by Thompson. Boy, it's tough to see how he misses that one. I, I don't think the defense was all that tight on him. And to Takumbo. Outside Tatum. Now on to Kumbo. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. Oh, time now for an injury there report. Go. Now an update on Malcolm Brogdon from Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I caught up with Milwaukee's head athletic trainer. Right now he's saying it might be a severely sprained ankle, which is something every player hates to hear. If he were to miss time right now, it would really hurt this team, especially during the latter stages of the season. Kevin? All right, David, thank you for the update. I know we're all... All interested in what his status is. And it might be a tough road back for him. I mean, but one thing's for sure. 
he will be back. Well, we know this. The guy's a fighter. I'm sure nobody's more disappointed than he is to have to go through this. But I am sure this guy will work every day to get back as quick as possible. Williams trying to break free. Paul can't get it to go. Boy, that's exactly how you have to play defense when he's driving the lane. You cannot give him any space. Snell from outside. The rebound by the Celtics. Nice ball movement by Boston. Yep, that one goes. And that's 17 points for Gay. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. And becoming impatient, that's not how you're going to catch up. Really, that's unacceptable. Patience is paramount when you're trying to cut the lead, and they didn't have it there. Paul outside. The step back jumper is good. Paul's got 32 points in the game. Boy, his output has been impressive today, and it doesn't look like he's done cooking just yet. And so Milwaukee again turning it over. A three ball. That one's not going to go. The Bucks go the other way with it. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Williams with the block. Pass to Gay. Ball's knocked loose. All up top. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Didn't have any problem Started. knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And boy, Robert Williams, big athletic guy who just doesn't back down. Still polishing his game, polishing that, that skill set. But when he's focused, he's absolutely spectacular. Bucks trail by 18. Maybe the most amazing thing about Williams outside the alley oops is this shot blocking presence he gives you on the floor. Yeah, he's one of the few guys that protect the rim from anywhere on the court. Tough inside, able to get out on shooters and plays with an attitude. Menacing. Here's Teodosic. Steps back and shoots. And the shot is long. E. Vincenzo, and he jams it with authority. Well executed, and then you love the strong finish. Yes, you love that they're not settling for anything outside the paint. Excellent work getting right to the tin. Here's Magruder, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Henson in the corner. Pass to Snell. Back to Henson. Shot clock at five. Even Genzo. No good off the front iron. Boy, that's a tough miss. Does well to get himself open and then botches it up. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Celtics. A few times this season, turnovers have cost him, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off.
And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Chris Paul. Well, guys, this guy has been a handful all night long. His scoring really propelled them. And no matter what the matchup was or what the scheme they tried to use, they could not keep this guy in check. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Here's Teo Dosic, and so it's Boston East.